Butterfield Market was founded in 1915. The name was inspired by the telephone exchange code Butterfield 8 that serviced the Upper East Side. Butterfield has been serving this community for over 100 years, which is a testament to their customer service roots and ability to adapt to an ever-changing world. Today, Butterfield Market's footprint has expanded well beyond this neighborhood and has serviced clients as far as the Bahamas. To learn more about this Upper East Side staple, we are going to speak with the Obsats family, the owners of the company, about their success and what's next in their story. Hi, I'm here with the Obsats family, Evan, Joelle, Alan. Thank you so much for taking the time today. Thank You're you so well. much. Thank Thanks, it's great to see you all. It's great to be right here in the Lexington Avenue location. So let's just get started with the basics. Evan, tell me what is Butterfield Market? Sure, uh, Butterfield Market is a specialty food market. We've been around since 1915, located on the Upper East Side. We have two locations. Uh, one is on 85th and Madison, and, and this is the original Butterfield, which is on 78th and Lex. And we specialize in prepared food, uh, produce, uh, cheeses, uh, baked goods, and, and pretty much any delicious uh, food that we can find. Alan, why don't you tell me a little bit more about the history of Butterfield Market? Sure. Well, Butterfield Market was established in 1915, and in 1950, for uh, my father-in-law and their grandfather, Ted Applebaum, came in and started working here. Uh, in 1974, uh, he asked me if I wanted to become his partner, and I said, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you came in two came, years before I came Evan. in in 2001, and Evan and I were discussing today, he came in in 2002, we think. So. Right. Uh, so we've been a family affair for ever since. For a long time. Wow. And we did work with our grandfather until he was 90. Wow. So that was very special to have that the three, three generations, generations all working together. with. All at once. That's incredible. Yeah. Alan, why don't you tell me a little bit more about the history of the market itself? Well, back way back when in the 30s, there was no such thing as a supermarket. There were just markets. And in this neighborhood, and as in most neighborhoods, there was a market on every uh, street corner. Wow. And there were small markets just like this. And then come the 1950s, supermarkets started opening up and they were bigger and maybe a little less expensive. And it, a lot of these small independent markets were out of business. And uh, when I came in, there was probably about 10 or 12 that still were left. And now it's down to about four or five. Wow. And we are kind of special and unique. And uh, we don't like to think of ourselves as a grocery store or a specialty food market. We don't want to compete with supermarkets. So we have grown, continue to grow and improvise. Uh, back in 1990, we renovated the store and, and made it larger. Then we started adding prepared foods. We put a counter in there. And that was a slow evolution, and it has evolved ever since to what, what this fantastic market is like. And prepared foods, I see you do such an incredible business, people popping in to grab something and go. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. It's amazing in this space that we could uh, have about 2,000 customers a day come wow. in here. And of those 2,000, uh, maybe three quarters of them come in at least twice a day. <laughs> Incredible. Well, and speaking of your customers here, one thing I've noticed in just being in this store this morning, so many customers come and eat up to each of the three of you asking questions about the family, asking questions about selections. Joelle, would you say that's one of the secrets to your success at Butterfield? I think that it makes us, it, it makes us special. Um, we grew up, Evan and I, above the market, so a lot of our customers have seen us grow up and become part of the business and we've seen them have grandchildren and watch their grandchildren grow up and we've seen, I mean Evan and I have been in the business for over 20 years so we've seen kids from nursery school that are now grown up, it's crazy, but I think it makes it special. It's truly a sense of community here, you really yes. feel that when you're in the store. Yeah. So Alan, tell me what is behind the name Butterfield? Well. well 
Back around the turn of the century, telephones became uh, normal. People had phones in their apartments and houses, and exchanges were formed by the telephone company, and they varied in every borough. And in this neighborhood, this became Butterfield. And amongst other things, there was Butterfield 8. Mm -hmm. And the, the person who owned it at the time decided to discuss it with the phone company. And we got, we're on 78th Street. And our phone number was Butterfield 8 7800. I've had the pleasure of being now in your kitchen on the Upper East Side, also your Madison Avenue location. Um, I would love to hear, maybe Evan, you could take this one. What sets the Lexington Avenue location apart from the others? Uh, I think that each location has its own identity, mm -hmm. uh, even from the physical, uh, the physical space. So in this location, for instance, we have the original uh, wooden uh, pillars that hold up the building and our, our wood, uh, original wood fronts. Uh, so uh, I think the characteristics of, are, are different from space from, from location to location. Uh, and I also think that the, uh, our uh, staff is also a big part of it. So we have staff members who've worked here for over 20 years. So they create a, uh, a personality of its own as well. Mm -hmm. and, and again, the people who come in and uh, this the location, Madison Avenue, Lexington Avenue, although it's only a couple avenues apart, is just, it has a completely different feel. Alan, I hear you are the storyteller of the bunch and you might have some really cool st stories to share with me of the history of some of your clientele at Butterfield Market that you've serviced. Sure. Besides having many customers with the names like Rockefeller, and Astor, and Getty. Uh, we also had some other unique um, customers. We had the uh, richest person in the world, and we met the chef, and, and, the, and the chef said, you will get everything I need or I won't be here. So we said, yes, we'll get everything you need. And the next day he came in and said, my boss is looking for uh, 10 pounds of beluga caviar. Big, wow. big beluga caviar. Wow. And I said, sure, we'll get it. And I really didn't know anything about caviar. I want to give them no for an answer. No. Though. And I learned real <laughs> fast. And I went downtown to the you know, fish, fruit and fish market. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I bought an original can and I brought it back. And I was so excited. And I gave it to him to please him mm -hmm. and make it good. And uh, um, the next morning he came in and I was so nervous and excited. You know, how did he like the caviar? Uh, and, and, which was $10,000. I don't know if I mentioned that. Wow, and, okay, and, so $10,000 worth of and, caviar and? And, and the, the chef was real <gasps> nonchalant about it. He said, you know what? He didn't like it, so we made soup out of the oh caviar and he thought it was good. Oh, at least he liked the soup. So I recently saw an article that there might be plans to expand this Lexington Avenue location. Mm -hmm. I think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Over the summer, we're going to uh, start to uh, expand uh, next door towards the corner of, of 78th Street. We're really excited about it. Yeah. We're really excited that we were able to re-sign our lease and we'll be here for the foreseeable future. I think that's one thing that kind of sets us apart as well is that we're here to stay. We're, yes. we're very much a part of this community and we're going to do whatever we can to continue to be part of the Upper East Side. Wonderful. We love, we love it Cheers here. to another hundred years. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. thank you. <laughs>